This is our HP ProBook 450 G2, which came to our shop for repair and it has not any power, no light on the DC jack. And nothing is getting hot. Let's go and check for schematics. The main voltage from the DC adapter is coming from here, going to this MOSFET PQ101. After that, it's going for the second MOSFET PQ102. And after, we have current resistor, which is PR102. So let's go and check the main power. Okay, let's plug the power and see what is getting hot, maybe. There is a heat around this area. As it's alcohol. See the alcohol is getting dry. Some bubbles there. There is a component, let's say, at the back here. Yeah, this one is too hot. This one is too hot. This MOSFET PQ101, which is the first MOSFET. Why is it getting hot? Let's check on the multimeter. Is it short? Yeah, this MOSFET PQ101 is not short. Okay, the second MOSFET is PQ102, which is here. I'm short too. How about the current resistor uh, yes the main parallel of this motherboard is short to ground so let's inject some voltage from the power supply and see what is getting hot and that will be our problem Ground wire and this one is a positive wire, let's solder and by showing one volt from five volt, and the body is taking all two arms. Yes, here. Yeah. Something is getting hot here. Yeah. There are two capacitors there. This one, there is this IC, and this capacitor here. Let's add some alcohol.
digits increase current to three hours and let's see yes the capacitor the cups this capacitor which on this hand is getting 19 volt is the one which is shorted to ground it's getting hot very very hot this capacitor is the one which is getting hot let's remove it using gun adding some flux if you see flux it's getting This is the cups, this capacitor, this is the one which has shot, let's confirm. And yes, as you can hear the meter beeping sound. No shot. After removing this capacitor, no shot. The shot is gone. Let's put another capacitor there and see if the body will work again. Let's clean the parts. Adding some salt there on this part so we can lower the melting temperature. And let's get this capacitor from the donor board here. Uh, from experience, this is the main power rail capacitor. So just using experience to know which capacitor to use. Let's touch again using gun. Cleaning flux. Remove the power supply. Positive pump. Let's check again the shorts on the main power rail. Shot. No shot on the main part, the shot was good. Okay, let's plug some adapter and see.
and uh, yes, I show a light flickering again. There's a light flickering. Is there anything which is getting hot? The first MOSFET was getting hot, but now it's cold. No. Let's check 3 volt and 5 volt rails if it's generating. This coil, the output of 3 volt, yes, you can see there, the volt is there, how about 5 volt, 5 volt is there, this show that the board is fixed, and let's test this from the display, okay, let's test, LVDS cable, Fan. Let's wait for the DC jack LED will freak. Yes, and let's use from experience using tweezer to trigger the power button, pin number one and pin three. And yes, the machine is on. The laptop is on and it's working fine as you can see. Everything is good. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe our channel for more videos.